Hi, my name is Jeff Cox. I'm the executive chef at Hop Alley Denver. And today we're making Mapo Tofu, which is a traditional Sichuan dish. It's actually named after the pockmarked face of the grandmother who used to make this dish out of her food stall for workers coming to and from their jobs in uh, northern Chengdu. Now it can be found throughout China and has even made its way to most American Chinese menus as well. Just a great application to use tofu for just a savory, comforting dish that uh, we love at the restaurant. And we've done many different versions throughout the years. Here's one simple, straightforward one for you. The key to any good Szechuan cooking is your doublejang. This is the heart and soul of Szechuan cooking. It's got a reputation for being hot and spicy, and this is where we're getting our heat from. It's actually just some chill, dried chilies soaked with uh, uh, broad beans or fava beans and uh, wheat. And these are left in clay pots to ferment and churned and, and mixed every single day under the sun, so open air uh, fermentation containers. It takes about six months to make this, uh, but they can age them as long as up to three to five years to get really deep, dark flavors out of them. The soul of Szechuan cooking. And the other ingredient I really wanted to highlight is fermented black beans, which is present in a lot of Chinese cooking. These are the same soybeans that we'd use to make soy sauce. Take the liquid out of it, the beans that you're left with, are these soybeans that give you a lot of pop of salt and a little umami. Um, it's important to always soak these in some water before cooking with though, because they are extremely salty. Okay, we've got our pan here at like medium low heat. There's gonna be plenty of rendered fat and oil coming out of our ingredients here. So we're gonna go right into a dry pan with our ground pork. This is just some ground boneless pork shoulder. So we'll break it up, let that start getting some color. Also fight the urge, usually with most recipes, I would season my meat here, but the ingredients we're working with today are very salty. So we're not gonna worry about seasoning the pork yet. Pork shoulder, it's got a nice fat to protein content, a nice balance there, but you can use any cut of meat. You can make this with ground chicken. You can make this, a lot of times it's made with traditionally with actually ground beef. We've even done it at the restaurant with ground boar and lamb before. Really, there are no set rules. You can make them make a vegetarian version. I've done it with some buzzed up cauliflower that I'm browning to start, some uh, beans even. So really, whatever your choice is will work, but my favorite to use is a boneless pork shoulder. So once it's start to render the fat out, then uh, don't be afraid to kick up the heat and get a sear. We want some of this pork to stick and caramelize to the bottom of our pot and uh, create a nice little fond to promote flavor in the final dish. The temptation can be to stir constantly, but we really wanna leave it alone to get a little bit of a sear going on the bottom. We have our dobanjang, or doban as we say for short, so our Szechuan chili paste, our fermented black beans, chili flake, garlic and ginger, and then these are really nice. I got some baby leeks from Esoterra Farms in Longmont, Colorado. But if you can't find baby leeks, scallions work just as well. Cornstarch slurry for thickening, a little bit of white pepper and seasoning. And I've picked a firmer tofu, about a four on the scale of one to six on firmness, because you want to be able to stir that tofu in and not have it break up, but too firm and you kind of miss some of the creaminess of the tofu. Starting to get a little color here, starting to stick, which is good. Okay, now that we've seared off our pork and we've got some good fond working at the bottom of the pot, we'll actually remove the pork now. Now feel free, you can make this a one pot meal and just add everything in and it'll still turn out pretty well. But I find that if we're able to toast our chili paste on its own in this fond, we get a little bit more depth of flavor and really get to develop the flavor of the dough bond. Don't worry about some straggling bits. We'll let that hang. And we will go right in with our doubonjang chili paste. Basically add as much as little you want, but keep in mind, the more you add, the spicier and saltier you'll be working with. Also into the pot now is our fermented black beans that have been pre-soaked to lighten up the salt. And then some chili flake as well. I'm turning it down to low so that we don't burn. We want to coax the oils that exist in the dough bond out and really create that color at the bottom of our pan. From there, we add a generous helping of garlic and ginger. 
I'm gonna say the holy trinity of Chinese cooking is garlic, ginger, and scallion. But in this recipe, we are using our leeks instead of scallions. All right, at this point, we've got a nice layer at the bottom of our pot. You can add some chicken stock for even more flavor, but water works just fine. Now that we've got some water in here, we'll scrape up all that fond we've developed. At this point, I'll add about a tablespoon of sugar. The sugar will help to balance some of that saltiness that we get from those beans and the dough bon. So healthy couple tablespoons of sugar. And now in with our tofu. And we'll gently fold that in, try not to break up the tofu. Season with a good amount of white pepper. We're gonna bring this up to a boil. All right, once we're simmering again, we will add our seared pork back to the dish. Add our baby leeks. We'll cook those until they're nice and tender. Cookbook I was reading, uh, Fuchsia Dunlop, one of my favorite authors, and uh, she's a British woman who was the first accepted into the Culinary Institute of Sichuan, the first Westerner ever invited in and she's written extensively on Chinese cooking. She, she uh, professes the use of baby leeks in this recipe. But um, again, anything that you have available will work. And yes, they just happen to be available in season right now, so. Before the water is all cooked down, we'll add a little cornstarch slurry. You can sprinkle a little cornstarch. I like to pre-mix it a little cold water so that it doesn't clump when we add it. But we're adding just enough that that water will thicken and coat our tofu. And again, at no point have we added salt to this dish because the salt is there with the beans and our chili paste. The only question for seasoning is how much sugar to add to balance that salt. All right, our leeks are starting to wilt a little bit. Give it a little taste and see where we're at. Pretty close. I'm gonna do one more pinch of sugar just to take the edge off of it. And one thing I've learned from cooking Chinese food is the application of sugar to savory dishes is just amazing. I think it's no secret anymore that adding salt to your desserts can really boost your desserts. But the revelation for me was adding sugar to your savory and what that can do. Always in modest amounts though. All right, we're looking good. Our leeks are tender, our sauce is thick and it's coating the tofu. Our tofu is warmed all the way through. So we are ready to plate. At the very end, I'd like to do some fresh cracks of the Szechuan pepper. You can cook the Szechuan pepper into the dish if you'd like, or even have whole peppercorn in there. But I find that finishing it when it's nice and hot like this and finely ground, it will really add to the aromatics. Like the second that this pepper hits the hot tofu, you can smell it right away and it is smelling wonderful. Here you can garnish with herbs if you want, more scallions. But the only thing that you must do is serve it with a jasmine rice or your favorite white rice is the way, is my favorite way to eat it. The only thing you must do that we're not doing today. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we'd make a pot of rice. So. Yeah. It's not mm. how to make a pot of rice video. Right, right, right. <laughs> Holy <laughs> that's three year age Doban from Pishan. If you're gonna buy Doban, always get it from the city of Pishan. That's the like AOC of it and official. We're currently doing a special of some grilled uh, shishito peppers that get dressed in that, along with some oxtail vinegar we got, actually some beef vinegar, and it's really nice. So that's cool. I haven't seen that anywhere but our pa our pantry. Where'd you get it? Uh, Fly by Oh, yep, they, yeah. they know their stuff. <laughs> yep. Even though I shouldn't need really any of these things, I feel naked, like if suddenly in a pinch, it's almost like I need that thing and I reach for it. So to know that it's all here if I need it is comforting to me.